All right, guys, we're back on the road again the next day, going to work. It's a Friday. It's feeling good. This time I'm not running so late. <laughs> I wasn't late yesterday, but uh, I'm usually pretty early. I mean, yesterday I was like right on time. For like first time since I started this job. Getting set up with the mic and everything, <laughs> kind of distracting me, and took a little bit of time to figure out how to go get an adapter thingy for my mic yesterday. But now I figured it out. I do it pretty quick. So, you know, back on my normal schedule. You know, my mirrors are not adjusted properly. Good. still in fourth there we go all right so what are we going to talk about today guys i have no idea yet second sort of official video on the channel of course the first of video is just the the video test if you guys actually look at my channel uh second one should be yesterday's ride Today is today. Oh. All right. So, uh, maybe we'll talk more about how to get to know me, I guess. Um, so, yesterday we were talking about. Uh, you know, how I got this motorcycle, and then we talked about uh, how I liked living in Flagstaff, and up here is alright, but not really. There's too many people around here. Um, today, let's, uh, maybe I'll talk about politics one single time on my channel. Uh, just some uh, of the basic views that I have, which I hope are not too disagreeable. They're, they make sense. And that is, I am, uh, I guess you call it, uh, not libertarian, but more just like freedom of choice, uh, pro-choice everything. Um, for the consumer, I guess. Or not consumer, but the, uh, <laughs> the average American. So middle class, essentially. And, uh, there's also still a hell of a lot more lower class than there is upper class. So essentially, middle and lower class, I'm pro have them decide what's good for them. Um... And to an extent, I like... So what I'm getting at here <laughs> is <clears throat> whenever there's a decision that has to be made, I'd rather it be, rather than being forced on someone, I'd rather it just be up to that individual. Um, so long as what the decision you're making does not negatively impact uh, other people. Um, and so basically, it's, uh, it's sort of a, let's, I don't know, let's take some examples here, right? So, uh, there's a light coming up here, one second. Um, this is probably the most controversial that, well, not recent politics, but in politics, abortion is very controversial. And what I have to say about it is I'm a man. I shouldn't have a say because I can't be pregnant. I can't have an abortion. That being said, I sure would hope that if the wife I chose or whoever I chose to mate with would decide to keep 
to keep whatever uh, birth that they're going to be giving um, <clears throat> so that you know our child even if she doesn't want it I would at least want to raise it but hopefully I wouldn't choose someone in the first place that would want to get rid of you know have an abortion it's just like uh, <clears throat> like you know there shouldn't be a, a good reason to not want to have a child if you've decided to have one um, and of course I understand the whole situation with like being raped that sucks it's not your choice someone else made the choice for you or didn't make the choice and just was just pleasing themselves for selfish reasons uh, <clears throat> I almost understand it in that scenario but at the same time it's like the there, there's a there's systems in place where if you don't want to raise the child you can at least give it to like a an adoption center or whatever uh, an orphanage or, and yeah that's going to probably suck for that kid but at the same time, it's like, I'd rather there be a person than not. Um, <clears throat> if it was going to happen. So it's like, uh, it's, it's tough to say, because it's like, <laughs> I just recently watched the movie Eternals. Um... And if you guys are into Marvel movies or anything at all, and you've watched that, it's out on Disney Plus now. Um, uh, let's see. And so I watched it yesterday. And one of the things in there was like, do you save Earth? Or do you let it be destroyed in the consequence would be that or the instead of if the earth is destroyed then there's like a multitude of other planets and galaxies that get created or would you rather save earth and all those galaxies and planets with potential life are not created and it's like in the movie they choose to save earth obviously because you know, it's Hollywood. Um, but, like, at the same time, it's like, was that really the right decision? I mean, I understand, like, my life is valuable to me, and other people's lives are valuable to them, but imagine the amount of value you could add to the universe if you sacrifice yourself. Uh, like, the en entire galaxies of potential life it's I don't know it's a tough decision for sure because it's like either you get to you get to enjoy your life or other get people get to enjoy their lives and you can't have both unfortunately for an unborn child it's like they're not alive well Ah, that's a tough decision. That's a tough conversation there too. At what point are they considered to be alive or conscious or a human being, rather than just an embryo or an egg and a sperm cell? Uh, but if you ask me, uh, I can't remember anything before preschool. <laughs> I'm not saying we should do. Infocide, infant suicide or infant genocide or whatever because that there's no reason to do that but <clears throat> it's like saying like why are you killing a blade of grass by stepping on it well the blade of grass really <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't uh have like emotions or like I don't know it's at that time it's like it hasn't formed anything yet that's it itself can even sense losing 
um, like it, it can't have a sense of loss yet because it hasn't really formed like an attachment to here, this place of being, the earth in life. But yeah, this is, a, this is just one of the, the many quandaries I have. I feel like it should be up to the woman to decide, but hopefully you can convince a woman to make the right decision right <clears throat> and hopefully you choose a woman to mate with that is stable minded and won't make the wrong decision but at the end of the day it's still their body like if it i understand there's certain conditions where having a child would cause a lot of complications or potentially end the, another person's life the woman's life or something and it's it's getting more and more rare these days so it makes sense that people are against abortion or against abortion because they're pretty much guaranteed to be able to save both parties but not always it's like biker uh, <laughs> it's I don't know it's complicated but they should be allowed to still choose um, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about guns, right? There's so many people out there that want to get rid of guns. In the, uh, I guess I should talk in the United States. There's other places where they've already got gotten rid of guns, and uh, to be honest, the statistics prove that the crime rates do not go down. <clears throat> I don't really get the connection between. But guns cause crime, or guns make more crime happen. They don't. They just change the type of crime, potentially. But oftentimes there's <clears throat> more crime prevented by the fact that m a lot of people have guns. And that's like a statistic that nobody talks about. It's like, maybe mostly beca because it's hard to estimate what are these idiots doing? Go ahead. Good thing I'm going straight. Um, yeah, but it's hard to get a proper hard statistic of how many people or how many lives are saved or how many crimes are prevented by people having guns but because it's much easier to track like how many fatalities happen from guns than it is how many fatalities didn't happen because it's like how do you track something that didn't happen um, it's hard to say but if the there's estimates out there on how many it is <clears throat> and it's something like a hundred times more than the ones the fatalities or crimes that are caused by guns um, so yeah I mean how do you how do you justify trying to get rid of them when there's a statistic just an estimate that's like that high biker. Man, there's a lot of bikers out today. Today it's a little drier, that's for sure, but there's still gravel in the road, and the roads are still a little bit damp, so. <clears throat> so, immediately, there might be a lot of you trying to click off, because I'm, you know, I'm talking about politics, and I'm talking about my values, but really, I'm just trying to be honest, straight up with the audience, if there is any, <laughs> and Essentially, it's like, there are some YouTubers I follow just because, not because of their values, but just because they're like, they're good people and they're, they generally don't talk about politics and they don't generally talk about, you know, gun stuff or something, you know, something like Cletus McFarland, he just, he just has, he's such a fun person to watch, he's so entertaining, you can tell he's, he's just an honest, like when he's on the camera, it's, 
he might be putting up a little bit of a show, that's for sure, but it's like, it's still who he is. It's like, he's a fun person, a good person. Um, and then another one that I really, really like is Dan, uh, Do It With Dan, that YouTube channel. It's just, I don't know, he's so, he's so honest. And when there's something that goes wrong in his life, he's, he talks about it and he's open to his audience. And it's, it, I don't know, it's just the feeling of honesty, which I get from certain people. And they're, they, again, he tries not to talk about politics or anything like that. But occasionally he does, a little bit. Like his, uh, I think he had a whole take on his COVID, what, you know, the situation with COVID. And it's like, yeah, I, I totally understand where he's coming from. I might not 100% agree. But at least, you know, he's like, he actually thought about it. He's someone that's not just do, saying whatever because it's the popular thing to say or whatever. <clears throat> he... I mean, from what I remember, he was he was very skeptical skeptical of COVID and all the hype and drama around it. And like, I don't blame him. I don't like it either. And it's just like, but then I think he caught it once or twice. <laughs> he may have even caught it three times by now. I don't remember. He's caught it like multiple times now. And he's like, yeah, that shit kind of sucks. But like, at the end of the day, you know, it's just a sickness. Like maybe a more complex cold or flu <clears throat> which is going to work itself out we don't have to act like it's ending the world and it's already starting to with the Omicron variant beca- becoming uh, less severe uh, man why is my there's a spot in my mask that's fogging up and I have no idea why it's just one spot I'm going to crack my visor That is a terrible idea. I can't see. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it, it's. I want to be like that type of person. I want to be honest with my audience. If you don't like my views, then that's fine. Go away. <laughs> Just don't watch my videos. If you do, or if you don't mind my views, then you know, keep watching. I I want to be honest. It's like one of my most important has like uh, I don't know what you call it like my most valued characteristic of myself is my honesty I think oh I almost hit some gravel there um or at least I like to think that and I feel like there's not enough of honesty in this world anymore people are so used to being able to just tell a lie on the internet and not get caught for it Or be punished for it, I should say. Like, even if you are caught, it's just like, oh, no, I lied. I'm going to continue on. Whereas before, if you're caught, like, depending on the circumstance, you might have been punched in the face. Coming into a school zone here. Uh, (laughs) So, yeah, you may have been punched in the face. You may have even potentially been thrown in jail if it's the the wrong place, wrong time to lie. Um, And it just doesn't, I don't know, people think the internet is like some weird safeguard to be able to lie. And it's just, uh, the internet's just full of BS and who the fuck cares kind of nonsense. I wish kind of people would get out and just enjoy their lives. Even if you just like didn't watch my channel anymore. I don't even know. I don't even have any followers or anything yet. I haven't actually posted my video from yesterday. Oh man, there's a huge patch of gravel there. looking car behind me. I don't know what it is exactly. It's like a an old Mustang maybe? I haven't got a good look at it yet, but it looks just in the my peripherals in my mirrors. 
looks kind of cool. I don't know. You guys probably won't be able to see it. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know what it is. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. But, so, I'm pretty much, the reason I'm uh, talking about this stuff on this video is just like, anyone that comes to my channel right off the bat for some reason I don't know, you might be a lunatic for <laughs> finding me, I don't know but I'm not a lunatic, I just I don't know how anyone will find me but I'm gonna post these videos anyways maybe um, who knows where it'll go um, maybe one day it'll be big enough to I don't know, do something cool with my life. I do have some awesome plans for my future that are going to require a lot of time and money and effort and I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, it'll be it'll be an adventure, I hope. What was that noise? So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much where uh, that's pretty much where I have to what I have to say about that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of distracted. I gotta get used to talking and paying attention to the road at the same time. <clears throat> yeah, it's gonna be kind of difficult, I imagine. To me, I'm very focused on one thing usually. I really don't want to get in that mindset where, uh, let's see, I don't want to be in the mindset of when I ride my motorcycle that it's more like automatic motion or almost like I'm on autopilot. I really don't, that's not a smart idea because there's a lot more you have to pay attention to when you're on a motorcycle. bit of a pull there. <laughs> In a spot where it's relatively safe, there's no side streets really. And it's very easy to see if anyone's coming off the side. So, eh, I do it there occasionally. Anyways, this video is going to have to end soon. We're getting into town where I'm close to work, but you know, I got a couple lights to wait at probably. So, I hope you guys stick around. Uh, maybe we'll see where this channel goes. Maybe uh, that'll be my next talking point is what do I plan to do with my future. Oh, come on, dude. Make up your mind. Yeah. And we'll see if uh, this channel takes off. Just maybe a hint. I like off-roading a little bit. Uh, one day I want to build a nice rig for that. And one day I want to also have lots of land and acreage and a nice house. Or a, a house that I build. I don't know. It'd be sweet. The ideal location I think would also be like somewhere like Idaho. Uh, in my research seems to be the most free restrictionless state um, and mainly just because there's not a lot of people there I mean their biggest city is like Boise which is, uh, from what I can tell, a little bit bigger version of Flagstaff. There's probably a lot more people than Flagstaff. But, you know, it's still like that 
kind of city in the middle of nowhere, kind of uh, in the not countryside, but like the half integrated into the woods. <laughs> I don't know what you call it, but just like you know, it's a beautiful city. It's small town feel, even though it's still a big city, a decently big city, not huge, nothing like L.A. or something. Ugh. But yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys in just a moment when I'm driving home from work. Alright guys, we're back. Coming from home from work, and as you can see, it's freaking foggy. I haven't really ridden in fog this thick at this time before. I mean, I have a little bit, but not this thick. It's starting to fog up a little bit on my face shield, on my helmet on the outside so just do that and all good oh man not gonna lie I had kind of a weird day today the last half of my day at work I felt kind of scatterbrained, and I'm not really sure why. It's just a weird day today, I don't know. I feel like I kept messing things up, except I didn't. I kept double-checking myself. Yeah, I didn't do anything <laughs> wrong. That I wasn't supposed to or anything like that. I just felt like I was, though. This is one of those days, you know? Friday! At least it's Friday! Well, now it's technically Saturday because it's 1 a.m. So now I get to head home and I don't really have to care about staying up too late. <clears throat> Although I do feel a little uh, tired, I don't know. Maybe that has something to do with it. Man, it's kind of dense fog. Oh, there's two cars up ahead. Yeah, this is weird. Everything's kind of blurry. Or just the, the halo around everything. <laughs> I'm probably going to keep my distance from uh, these tail lights I see up ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> you guys ever have one of those days where you just kind of feel like just off of it and it's just like I have no idea why it's like this sometimes. It's not like that very often. That is not helpful. Oh my god. I sure hope I don't hit something. It's actually really dense fog. Holy crap. Like I could just barely see those taillights up there still. But they are there. They haven't gone over a hill. Maybe now they have. Oh, yeah, there's one on the off ramp coming up here. I think. Oh my god! <laughs> this is intense! Hope it doesn't cause problems with my mic adapter or anything. Because it's supposedly not waterproof. Uh. But man, this is uh. <laughs> Kinda cool at the same time. I can feel my pants are getting kinda damp. I should have put on my rain pants. I have a pair of just cheap rain pants I sometimes throw over my my riding pants. Because my riding pants are uh <clears throat> they look they're like the ones that look like jeans, they're kinda stealth. So they're not really waterproof or anything. They're Kevlar infused jeans and they have uh oh what's that stuff called? D, D3O? Is it? The, the flexible orange armor? It has that in the knees and the hips. And I barely even noticed it, but these pants are freaking awesome. They're the, if you want to know, they're the Klim K42s? K L I M? And then you spell out 40, F O R T Y, and then just put the number 2, or I think there's different versions. There's one, two, three, and I think there's a four. I don't remember exactly which one I have, but it's 
there's a new generation there's two two pairs of the older ones and two pairs of the newer updated ones um, I have one of the updated ones at least at the time of, of this video or when I got them they may have made another generation since I don't think so though because I'm pretty sure when I got these they're pretty new uh, product uh, there we go no, we're no longer in the fog now huh. it's kind of crazy how it just all of a sudden no more fog yep look <laughs> Um, so, yeah, they're, they're pretty great jeans, but they're not waterproof. I mean, I wear them to work, and no one knew I was wearing motorcycle jeans. Or, and they still don't, actually. Except for, like, one guy that I worked the swing shift with. You know, we talk a lot, but... <clears throat> uh, so he knows they're motorcycle jeans, but, like, no one else does. They just look like normal jeans. Uh, and then I got a jacket. It's actually underneath this blue one. This blue one's just a winter jacket I throw over the top to keep me warm because it's been pretty cold. But I have a riding jacket underneath this, which uh, I totally don't remember what it, what the brand is. I might it might come back to me eventually. But I got it from Cycle Gear, uh, like a brick and mortar store, which is near here. Uh, I think they're, they're across the nation, I don't remember. Um, yeah, I got it from there, and it looks like a, just a normal plaid jacket. A long sleeve, almost like a button-down plaid. <laughs> so it's a little bit thicker looking, and, you know, it's got the armor in it, and it's abrasion resistant. So, that's cool. I kind of like the stealth look. It's pretty nice that I can, I could just wear this motorcycle gear out to a restaurant and not look funky or something. Not that I will be soon. I mean, COVID's fucked everything up around here. Um, where everything's half capacity, so the wait times are either ridiculous or the service is no longer good or what it used to be because nobody fucking wants to work in this <laughs> fucking environment um, and I don't blame them if you're in the service industry and you're you're supposedly a essential employee but you still get paid like shit with no benefits it's like man I can't be that essential or at least for whatever reason society doesn't value the essential employees <laughs> it's just kind of BS I feel like they should be paid more I mean, for the longest time, they've just been holding the wages. That steady state. And uh, while the prices for everything go up, but wages aren't going up. Like, I mean, you look at freaking things like college tuition, mortgages, or what it costs to own a house, or rent. You know, all that stuff is all skyrocketing in the past... 10, 20 years, but wages have stayed pretty much the same. Nothing's changed. Um, and, I mean, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to defend, like, oh, if you increase wages, then inflation just goes up and prices just go up. But the, the big problem, if, I mean, if you look at it, if prices have been going up for anyways inflation's going to go up anyways but pri the wages aren't then where's the money going if it's not going to the employees it's going to the the CEOs and the big high up execs in in big companies um, i mean that you just look at people like Jeff Bezos i mean that's how he got to be the richest person in the world is just he provides a service that he's able to undercut almost every local brick and mortar shop for any goods like physical goods in the entire world and then you like pay your employees as little as possible of course you're going to become the richest person in the world but like what the fuck do you do with all that money <laughs> like 
seriously, what do you, I mean, after a billion dollars, what are you going to do with it? Like, I can't imagine, if I spent money, like, like it grew on trees, then I paid ten times everything that I actually bought, then I did everything I wanted in life, which is like, own a hundred acres and build a nice house and a, like a 2,000 square foot shop or something just to build vehicles that cost a hundred thousand dollars each or something <laughs> ridiculous I don't know do custom motorcycle builds like I'd be happy for the rest of my life and I'd still only spend like not even a tenth of a billion dollars I don't get it <laughs> like what do you do with more than a billion dollars I mean I guess you could spin up giant companies but anyways I gotta cut the video off I'm home uh, I almost forgot I, I'm supposed to show my home Oop. but anyways that's that I gotta go get to the garage and see you guys later ciao